Today I will be demonstrating the effects of loose electrical connections and the inability of a standard circuit breaker to react to that fault condition. Here we can see I have a standard 15 amp receptacle, 14 gauge wire, and a 1004 device box. This receptacle is wired according to the Canadian Electrical Code. Unfortunately, what we can't see here is that this connection right here is faulty. These two wires have not been spliced together appropriately and are not making a solid mechanical connection. I will be using a toaster and my wife's hair dryer as loads on this receptacle today. So hopefully I don't get in trouble for using my wife's hair dryer. But here we go. Right away we can see that there was sparking and arcing at the moret that the circuit breaker didn't catch. An arc fault circuit interrupter would have tripped the circuit right away. Right now we see there's 14 amps of load and there's smoke billowing out of the moret. The moret is red hot but everything's still operating as normal. Our circuit breaker's on. The moret's beginning to melt away. The temperature on the surface of our conductors is 91 degrees Celsius. And I haven't even got my morning bagel yet. We need to remember that this is all occurring inside of our combustible wood frame walls. This could be happening inside a wall while you sleep. Four minutes in and the moret is nothing but a puddle of blue goo. And we're still drawing 14 amps of load. Now after nine minutes, everything outside of the device box appears to be fine. Both the hairdryer and the toaster are working as normal. What is happening inside the device box is nowhere near normal. I have placed a small amount of sawdust inside of the device box to help show how easily the combustion process can start. 